Welcome to Bosch's technical support on demand video series. The DVAR IP7000 recording appliance, manually formatting storage. If working with a DVAR7000 appliance equipped with DOM version 1.01 .01 or lower, you will need to manually format the system's VHDs or virtual hard disks using VRM prior to working with the wizard. After performing the initial boot sequence and the appliance reboots, you will automatically be booted into a kiosk interface. This kiosk interface allows you access to BVMS Configuration Wizard, BVMS Operator Client, or BVMS Configuration Client. Select BVMS Configuration Client. After a few moments, you'll be prompted to log in a Configuration Client. The default username is admin with no password. The loopback address of 127.0.0.1 should be present in the connection drop down box. The recording appliance's default IP address can also be used in this drop down 192.168.178.200. Once Configuration Client opens, right click the VRM Devices icon in the Devices tree and select Add VRM. You should see an Add VRM pop-up menu. In this menu, add the name, the default IP address of the device. Here is shown a working system. And then you will need to enter the username and password. VRM's default username is SRV Admin with no password. Select OK. After making any changes to the system, you always want to save your work. Use the Save tab as shown here. After VRM has been added and your work has been saved, right click the Pool submenu icon below VRM. Select Add iSCSI Device. You should see an Add iSCSI Device pop up menu. In this menu, you want to enter the device's desired name, the device's default IP address. Here is shown a working system. From the iSCSI Device Type drop down menu, you want to pick the 1400 series storage array. This is the 7000's predecessor. Leave the password entry blank, select OK, and save your work. You should now see a Drive Zero icon below the newly added iSCSI. Select the icon. To the right, you should see all of your virtual hard disks as unformatted LUNs. Select the Format checkbox on all of the LUNs then select the Format LUN tab. You will be asked if you want to format the selected LUNs. Select OK. LUNs should be formatted three at a time, and this process may take several minutes. When finished, save your work. Close the application, and when prompted to activate changes, select Yes. After the application is closed, you'll be taken back to the kiosk mode. Now if using the wizard, you will not need to detect or add a VRM in step 4, and you will not need to add storage in step 8 of the wizard. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you. Bosch. Invented for life.